Artists must create on the same scale that society has the capacity to destroy. A quote by Sherry Wabinowitz. I'm a conceptual artist and these images are of past projects of different scales. As a first, Niger first generation Nigerian American, my life experience scales my Nigerian parents migrating to America and seeking prosperity, as well as the struggles of black Americans fighting for equality. As an artist, my work scales social justice, design, architecture, performance, and technology. Technology scales across everything. It's changed the way we see our worlds and ourselves. If social justice could be scaled in the same way, it could change how we see marginalized and underrepresented communities. Social justice needs new languages and forms, which depart from the frames of film and photography and pages of writing, yet arrive at the same evocative and informative communication. The past few years, I've been working at the scale of big data to create new ways of communicating racial injustices using music and sculpture. This is a map of pretrial incarceration rates in 2015. In summary, black people are 3.6 times more likely to be incarcerated in local jails than white people. In 2017, I used this data to create an ongoing series of jazz compositions and performances titled Deconstructed Anthems. The Star Spangled Banner is repeated multiple times, each time removing notes at the rate of mass incarceration and Indian in silence. One, two. from the Star Spangled Banner represents every black person who was systematically removed from their families and communities that year. This is a map of people diagnosed with HIV in 2014. In summary, black people were 12% of the US population, but 40% of those diagnosed with HIV. Last year, I used this data to create a series of sculptures titled Pan-African AIDS. It represents the hypervisibility of the AIDS epidemic in Africa and hidden epidemic in black America. I found that between 2008 and 2015, HIV prevalence rates decreased in African countries aided by the US, while it increased in black America. The shape of Africa morphs into black America at the same rate increase of HIV in black America. Mass incarceration and HIV AIDS are both crises that are abstract, both in the millions of people that have been affected by them and how those quote unquote unaffected are connected to them. However, through materializing and sonifying their data, these crises can be made more concrete. In my creative capital project titled The Green Book Project, I want to make structural racism concrete. The title is inspired by Victor Hugo Green's Negro Motorist Green Book. He started publishing it in 1936 when Jim Crow had legalized segregation. It listed safe places for black travelers, or as John Williams describes, places Negroes can stay without being embarrassed, insulted, or worse, black people have a way of disappearing on the road. In 1966, when Civil Rights Act was abolished, when the Civil Rights Act abolished segregation, Green thought America was moving towards a place of equal opportunities and privileges for blacks and stopped publishing his book. However, five decades later, black Americans are still fighting for equality and disappearing through the new Jim Crows of mass incarceration and police brutality. So America still isn't where Green thought it would be in 1966. 
In 1900, W.E.B. Du Bois mapped the state of black life through a series of hand-drawn charts and maps. And now I think it's time to map the state of black mobility and safety today through a series of big data, oral history powered publications and multimedia installations. The Green Book will imagine the Negro Motorist Green Book for traveling while black in this new era of Jim Crow's. It'll be developed through a series of storytelling and mapping workshops with black communities, which explore new ways of mapping individual experiences of racism to structural systems of racism. Although I'm in research and development, I've started meditating on concepts and mediums for this project. One is a large-scale sound reactive installation and performance titled Black Interference. It sonifies black mobility and safety using data to manipulate radio receivers and transmitters. Radio waves are invisible yet hyper-audible through technology in the same way racism can be invisible for some but hyper-visible through camera phone videos of police brutality and maps of school segregation. Black Interference is one artwork in an ongoing series which explores these questions through the Green Book Project. In February, I was appointed as a professor at MIT Media Lab and founded a research group titled Poetic Justice, of which I'm also a director. I'm building out a double high thousand square foot space and a team of 10 multidisciplinary researchers to explore new forms of justice through art. The Green Book Project will be one of our first projects. I want to make the experience of black mobility and safety today concrete. To do this, I need your support in all the ways listed on this slide. And I'm looking to partner with community organizations, curators, and venues to present past works on structural racism as well as the Green Book Project. Thanks. Thank you.